Everybody read uh, Hermann Hesse in a, in a certain time. For me, it was my teenage years. And I read uh, Steppenwolf first. And when you read it on your teenage years, you read Hermann Hesse from a romantic point of view. But when you read it from a point of view of a 48-year-old man, you start to come closer to the, the edge of the character of Harry Haller. You start to look back and see if you took the right turns on your life and you made the right choices. I read it again in the pandemic, really with time to face it and to really uh, enjoy it. And I found that there was something that you could make a piece about it. In my embrace, my teeth would meet. What else is there beneath the sky? There was questions about duality, about uh, instinct, about intellect. Uh, the, the book is also uh, presenting a lot of questions about what is reality, what is dream, how uh, we go through life somehow not understanding what, uh, what the meaning of it is and, and whether we are all animals, but at the same time we are thinking uh, or overthinking, you know? The lovely creature I would so treasure and these myself deep on a tender thigh and what we are trying to do is not to bring the book forward because I think the book is unapproachable. It's a book that is already difficult to understand. Uh, you need to read it many times and every time you read it you understand a different thing. I really found a way in only when I uh, went back to uh, another great artist, Joseph Boyce, uh, which is kind of uh, uh, a character in itself. For me, Joseph Boyce is, is our Steppenwolf. Is, uh, is very much uh, the crazy person, the sane person. This combination of both a, a very well-crafted thinker, but at the same time, uh, Joseph Boy has this fierce quality about him. The, the way he also was connecting with the, our animal side is also the way he was confronting the audience, bringing the audience into his art, but also shaking them. We are trying to understand throughout the whole book who is Harry Haller. Uh, I think we don't know until the end who he is, and this is the, the whole point here, that uh, everybody could be him, you know? And therefore we have not a real protagonist on the, on, the, on the piece. And that's the beauty of it, that we really don't know what is the Steppenwolf, but only is left with us the questions that the, that the book presents. And I think Joseph Boy's work was also about questioning everything. I think we are all in this piece trying to go out of our comfort zone, you know? So when we put all this together, hopefully we will have a lot of talent and a lot of illusion and a lot of uh, madness together. And I think in this one, it's not possible to bring it halfway. You have to go all the way in and then take the risk and take the chance, you know? And then whatever happens, it will be great because more and more I realize that this is uh, what I really crave for. Uh, not, not what we're gonna deliver, but the process until we deliver it. Then you discover things and, and then uh, our art becomes meaningful and, and has a point, you know? At the end, what we are here for is the, the process is not the result. <laughs>